So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and no guys, no the title of this video isn't clickbait. I legit have found a Dark Souls 3 weapon and also a popular weapon called the Dragon Slayer Great Axe. It just comes under a different name. Today we get into it all. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so I was farming away just searching for weapons I hadn't had and I came across an enemy I hadn't seen before. Looking on a Wikipedia, there's I think there's two or three across the entire map. So, no surprise I haven't seen it before. But I killed him. The first time I killed him, I had a weapon drop. Now as soon as I looked at the weapon I thought, I have seen that before. Upon equipping it guys, I knew straight away this is an easter egg to the Dark Souls 3 weapon, the Dragon Slayer Great Axe. Absolutely down to a T in design, more so design, but also that luck. Now, once I started using it guys, I also realised it more or less has the exact same move set too. 95% uh, and I'll explain in a second what I mean there. But yeah, the move set is more or less the exact same and I'm thinking, Wow, I looked online and I saw a post on Reddit from about two months ago of literally two people talking about this weapon and how it seems as though it is a Dragon Slayer Great Axe from Dark Souls 3. So the weapon itself guys is called the Execution of Great Axe. It requires uh, 34 in strength and 18 dexterity and it scales with both. Now the only thing it's missing from the Dragon Slayer Great Axe is that weapon skill this one has a basic standard uh war cry on it but you can apply an actual war to it now if you guys remember the dragon slayer great axe it kind of shot lightning down upon its foes that's the only thing it's missing well actually guys no it's not because there is an ash of war in this game which acts exactly the same as the dragon slayer great axe did and it's called the lightning slash and you'll see right there now what i will say is guys this is a a scaling uh, strength weapon which is pretty cool too but that ain't what this video is about so if i put this on you'll see guys this is that dragon slayer great axe it's just it's just the weapon i don't think anyone's going to argue with this utterly crazy okay so where do you get this thing from I probably should have started the video with this and I apologise about that. But the weapon, like I said, looking on the Wikipedia, it comes from a couple of spots. So yeah, this is the first grace point you'll come across upon defeating uh, Margie and then Godric the Grafted. I may have got them mixed up. I may have said them the wrong way around, but you know what I mean? It's been ages since I, I fought them guys, literally at the start of the game. But yeah, the first grace point you'll come to is the lake facing cliffs, which is that grace point right here. Here and from here, guys, you just want to go to the top of this hill. Now, there are three skeletons at the top of this hill. Uh, two of them are hanging from a tree, and one of them spawns out of the floor. The one that spawns out of the floor is the dude that drops this axe. Now, I got it straight away, like I said. I'm not sure if it's a guaranteed drop when you kill him the first time. If it isn't and you do have to farm it use what you can in regards to silver tier mask silver scarab to help boost that discovery uh, do what you gotta do guys and as you can see there's two uh two skeletons hanging out tree there they will fall down and the guy spawns here simply as just taking them out and they do hit kind of hard even on my high shell level they still kind of hit hard i'm not gonna lie don't forget as well guys um skeletons have that second life that revive mechanism which is a pain in the ass i'm pretty sure holy weapons eliminate that also i read somewhere but yeah like i said that guy there is the one that the one that spawns at the ground is the guy that drops this weapon if you don't get it first try guys just simply go back to the grace and rinse and repeat the farm now the ash of war the lightning slash ash of war comes from up in the capital right there so any grace point around this area guys you can see where i'm at any grace point around this area i'll just go to this one okay so from this grace point guys you want to head up through that door right there i said door massive opening that actually surprised me like i said how people ain't put two and two together 
and applied this Ash of War uh, to this weapon. But hey, it is what it is. I have you covered. Okay, so this second, because there's a camp here, which isn't the one, and there's a camp right here, guys. This is the camp you want to come to. The Ash of War will be obviously a scarab beetle pushing along the giant poop. It's literally right about there. It's in the middle of this spot. You won't miss it, guys. Just chase him down and chop him up. It really is that simple guys and that is how you get the Ash of War this is how you get this amazing weapon the Executioner's Great Axe which is 100% homage to the Dragon Slayer Great Axe from Dark Souls 3 guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more out on ring be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful people I will see you on that next one